Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. I know I've gotten in the habit of doing a lot of um, daily vlogs just because it's, you know, easiest and it's what I'm kind of interested in right now. So today I am gonna show you how I pack for our family of five minus my husband because he's a grown man, he can pack for himself and he's not coming on this road trip for me. So this is gonna be a two week trip up to Kentucky to see my parents. Um, my mom did get some of the necessities for the kids like food, snacks, and diapers for Ivy and Milo. So first we're gonna start with everything I'm packing. Oh, and I should disclose, this isn't a full two weeks of outfits because I am gonna have access to a laundry machine, or laundry <laughs> washing machine. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. So first of all, in case you're wondering what that sound is, it's Ivy on her tablet because Milo's napping. Okay, so first things first, loungewear because I like to be comfy and people that don't pack loungewear are strange because I can't wear pants. I don't like wearing jeans out or um, not out. I like wearing jeans out. I don't like wearing jeans like when I'm trying to relax on the couch. So we have a sweatshirt and a pair of um, joggers. So this is like an oversized sweatshirt too. So it's really comfy. And in Kentucky, it's really cold right now. Uh, this is one of Zach's hoodies. I believe, is this one from H&M or something? Or Primark? Let's see. Yeah, it's probably like from Primark or something from when we went to Europe. So it's just a long navy sweater and then it's my tie-dye airy sweats. And of course, I have to wrap Ravenclaw. So I have my Ravenclaw Wizarding World sweatshirt and then some Hollister high-waisted joggers. So two weeks, normally I'd bring like five pairs of, mm, no, honestly, this is probably what I'd wear anyway, because I'd re-wear them unless they got dirty. But yeah, so that's all the comfy clothes. And then speaking of comfy, um, I'm bringing at least two pairs of pajamas. So these are Soma, and this is just, um, long cheetah pants and then a long sleeve black Soma shirt um, and then I of course have to bring and make sure I have my sleep nursing bras so one sleep nursing bra and then here's my other sleep nursing bra and I'm bringing one more just in case just that one okay and then excuse me the dog hair I have Australian Shepherds if you haven't seen um, it's a long sleeve navy shirt and then some airy shorts, which are really cute with like ruffles down them and super comfy. Okay, and then yep, nursing bras, nursing bras. Okay, so now to the outfits. So I can't believe this, but I'm only packing four outfits. So, uh, if you see me wearing, like, the same outfits over and over again in vlogs for the next 10 days, like, don't judge me. I just, I live in Florida, so I don't have any cold weather outfits. So, first things first. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Oh, let's take a drink how many times I say first things first. Okay, so I have a nice heavy wool sweater from, I think this is American Eagle. And then, of course, because it's so cold, I have to layer. So here's another airy short sleeve shirt that I'm going to wear underneath this sweater. And then just a pair of high-waisted jeans. Okay. And then the next one is, this is, um, I think, a Pioneer Woman top. So it's really, really long and flowy, and it's long sleeve. And I am going to wear that with a black tank top underneath and then some black Fabletics leggings. Um, I think these are full length. If they're not full length, they're like the 7 8 length, so it's close enough. And so I did live in Germany before where it is really cold, so I know the power of like a tank top or a shirt underneath all this. So you're going to find a tank top with like every outfit. Okay. So next outfit 
is this top from Bass Pro Shops. You'd be surprised at what cute stuff they have. Um, and then it's long sleeve too, but kind of like croppied. And then a gray tank top and a darker wash jegging with that outfit. All right, last outfit is this one. It's from Hollister. It's actually a long, chunky sweater, and it's got a lace detail at the bottom. And then I'm going to have that with this cream-colored tank top and some, um, like, green joggers, like cargo joggers, too. Cargo pants are not a style yet, are they? Probably. Don't answer that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Um, and then I brought some two shirts that can be like paired under things or I'm probably, I wouldn't wear this on the outside with a baby. It's just asking for a stain. But that one and then a long sleeve striped blue shirt from Old Navy. You'll probably see me in this one a lot because it's really comfy. Um, and then I have my Columbia jacket, which is like, I feel like a big polar bear when I wear this. But it's super soft, super comfy, and it's it shockingly keeps the cold out. Because we've had some pretty cold days here in Florida. Trust me, I know it's not Kentucky cold, but eh, it's been pretty cold. And I haven't felt anything through there. And it was only like $20. Okay, and then I'm bringing two scarves. So this one's like a really soft, chunky one. And then this one is, I think I got it in Greece or something but it's just a nice pretty scarf and then of course plenty of undies i'm not gonna go through those because eh, just why would i and then lots of socks where are they all under here so lots of harry potter socks and then regular socks and i'm only bringing one eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palette because i'm not trying to pack too much so I tried to get like a neutral one that I'll probably wear that color with everything. And then I have my Honey Dukes makeup bag with all the rest of my makeup in it. So concealer, mascara, eyeliner, bronzer, blush, highlighter, chapstick, lipstick, all that stuff. Um, and then so far in my bag, so I'm probably going to pack in here like these monitors um, chargers and then I think I'm gonna bring this book and then I'll go in this backpack with my MacBook charger and all my clothes are gonna go in this old Vera Bradley tote because on a car trip I try not to pack um, suitcases because I find duffel bags are a lot easier to shove underneath seats <laughs> That's everything for me so far. Um, I'm, I've got to pack my toiletries, so I'll go ahead and tell you those now. Um, I'm gonna pack not shampoo, because my sister has shampoo that I can use. Um, I'm gonna bring my straightener, because that's how I always do my hair. 
Um, I always do a straightener curl like that with this length of hair. Um, so I've got to bring exfoliant, face exfoliant, um, face wash, a razor, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, and body wash, I think, because my parents should have lotion for me to use, and oh, my hairbrush, or I might just pack one hairbrush for the girls, and I'll just use it, probably that, oh, and all my medicine, so my postnatal vitamins, Zyrtec, and ibuprofens, because I tend to get a headache with, um, three kids. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think that's it. I'm going to go pack the kids bags now, which is always so much fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my part. Let's go to the next.